Under Cranford. No tropical storms, but storms though. Right, right. In our local area, we'll get the strong storms rolling in. Unrelated, of course, to anything tropical, but just want to stress in the Atlantic Basin, that's of course the season that we typically, you know, look at in the Gulf Coast and the East Coast and really the U.S. No development is expected right now. Thankfully, nothing is stirring at this point. Nothing is brewing and our season still doesn't officially start until June 1st. But typically you do see a little more activity over in the eastern Pacific earlier in the season. And so that's why the season over here starts on May 15th. And remember, we have a completely different set of names. This is the first name storm over in the eastern Pacific called Andreas. But in the Atlantic, our first name would be Anna. So again, all this is going to do is just kind of increase some moisture in the mid levels over Mexico and eventually kind of toward the Gulf Coast. But the storm itself is not a threat to land and looking at its track. You can see it's barely a tropical storm right now with winds of 40 miles per hour and maybe even by early tomorrow it will have fallen apart and will be maybe a depression and then probably dissipate after that. So overall not really that big a deal, but just wanted to cover that for you since it is the earliest on record in the eastern Pacific by one day. Also, here are our names. I know a lot of you may not want to look at this, but we are kind of looking at a completely different set of names, as I said, and the average now is higher, of course. It's 14 name storms for an Atlantic season, so that would bring us to the name Nicholas, and we are expecting perhaps a more active than normal or average sort of year, unfortunately, again, in the Atlantic Basin. This is Hurricane Preparedness Week also, so today's thing is to determine your risk. We'll cover a different topic every day, but just kind of start thinking it. Do you I live in an evacuation zone? Think about insurance policies, possible supplies you might need and maybe how to prepare your home this season. Of course, a lot of us did preps last season uh, and also just keep watching this week. We'll be covering the different topics, just kind of getting you ready. But again, the start of the official season is not until June 1st. Here we are, though, talking about our local weather tonight, getting away from the tropics while we can before we are in hurricane season. Flash flood watch is in effect, and this is for potential Actually, one to three inches of rain. However, the big concern will be if this mass of storms that we're seeing out to our west stalls or slows down and is able to train and kind of just feed on the moisture that is going to be increasing tonight in our atmosphere. So temperatures right now mainly in the 70s. Our lows tonight will be around 70. And once again, for your wake up forecast, I would include maybe extra time, maybe turn on eyewitness news, watch what's going on with our weather and our traffic updates tomorrow morning because there may be some heavy rain in the area and it may infect many of our morning commutes. Here is the rain right now and you can see not in our immediate area. Area. In fact, really the closest is just east of Alexandria right now. But what you're seeing here is a line of storms. And actually, if we do see this begin to bow out a bit more, that might indicate some damaging wind gusts or some high winds. And also what we're saying is that that complex may slow down. So actually our severe risk for tonight has been upgraded a little bit from earlier today to level two north of the lake. This extends until about sunrise tomorrow. It's overnight tonight and then level one on the south shore. And then for tomorrow, we're looking at a marginal risk. So this is a very low risk when you're in the green in the marginal little higher though overnight north of the lake. And the main thing we'll be watching for tonight is the high wind gusts for anything severe. Hail and tornado threat looks low, as I said but also the heavy rain. So here's our model once again showing and this is updating rapidly. So this has 132 AM starting to see maybe the earliest edge of some of that rain arriving for our area around Tangipahoa Parish. Maybe a few heavy downpours near Baton Rouge. It's a little bit hard to say with timing. It's been going kind of back and forth and we'll see how that system continues to shape up as it is over outside of our area still. But by 6 AM you can see the rain for New Orleans, possibly toward 9 AM still some showers and storms, and then this could be noon before we start to see this move out, out of the area. So that's why that flash flood watch was issued pretty quickly tonight, and it only extends until noon tomorrow because it's really just this one batch of rain that we're watching in the short term. And then we'll have a few more rounds later, but Tomorrow evening, we should be drier and that will take us into tomorrow night. However, we will have a few more rounds of rain. So later in the day tomorrow, we'll say about a 60 70% rain chance. But notice the highest chance will be with that batch that we're going to see in the morning. Then we'll keep a chance for a bit more scattered rain and it looks warm and humid tomorrow. Highs in the middle 80s. We may get a couple more rounds Tuesday 
and Wednesday, and we're saying maybe about one to three inches, but a lot will just depend on how much is able to fall tonight. The highest totals might be north of the lake, and again, a few isolated high wind gusts will be possible. Now, a front at the surface will also be settling in and stalling, so that's why our rain chance is there through Wednesday. The temperatures get knocked back. But we begin to dry out Thursday with a few scattered showers early, and then we get yet another stretch of beautiful, low humidity, sunny kind of weather starting Friday into next week. And so that'll be something to look forward to, but please stay aware of the weather tonight and tomorrow especially. All right, good reason to check in in the morning. Thanks. Well, normally on Mother's Day, the sole queen of